Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. American EV owners save more money in winter than any other country, study suggests. Tesla is banking on a major Q1 push to secure its biggest year yet. Tesla continues Project Highland manufacturing line installation at Fremont. And, Tesla aims to deliver a cost-effective ramp of 4680 batteries in 2023, reach high volume in 2024. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. While electric vehicles lose a notable amount of range during winter months, they are still vastly cheaper to run than comparable internal combustion cars. This is, at least, according to a recent study that compared the running costs of EVs to ICE vehicles during winter across several countries. Upshift, a company that provides performance marketing services, initiated a study to compare the running costs of electric and combustion-powered cars during winter. The most popular electric vehicle and the most popular combustion-powered car in each country were used for the study. As noted by Upshift, EV owners in the United States actually saved the most, compared to electric car owners in other countries. This is partly due to lower electricity costs, which effectively meant that charging costs are just about $78.95 per month on average, far lower than the average fueling cost of $272.79 per month. Overall, US EV owners can see total savings of $193.84 across the winter season just by driving an electric car. China, the world's largest EV market, already seems primed for electric cars. The cost of charging electric vehicles in China during winter months is very low, with drivers paying just an average of just one cent per mile driven. This equates to a monthly cost of $6.59, significantly lower compared to the running costs of electric cars in the US. These cost savings make China the country with the cheapest EV running costs during winter. The opposite is true for some areas in Europe. As per Upshift's research, Germany is the only country where running an electric vehicle in winter costs more than fueling a traditional internal combustion vehicle. On average, EV owners in Germany pay $20.10 more per month than those who drive ICE cars. Belgium follows Germany's trend, as the research also found that monthly running costs for EVs in winter in the country exceed $100, with an average of $100.75 per month. Moving to the next update, Tesla is banking on a major Q1 push to secure its biggest year yet. Tesla is banking on a major push for sales in the first quarter of 2023 in an attempt to secure what will likely be its biggest year to date. In the past, Tesla has routinely depended on end-of-quarter and, most importantly, end-of-year sales pushes to reach goals. However, the company has adopted a new strategy for 2023 to achieve production and sales goals, and it is willing to do it at all costs. In its Q4 and full-year 2022 investor shareholder deck, Tesla stated it would accelerate its cost reduction roadmap, sacrificing its high profit margins for an accelerated production rate and increased sales. Tesla put its money where its mouth was by reducing prices significantly in early January across many markets, most notably in China and the United States. In the past, Tesla has used strategies like discounts, free supercharging, and other incentives to drive sales, and this is one of the rare instances that it is using practices at the beginning of a quarter to drive sales. Tesla technically missed its 2022 delivery targets, set at 50% growth year over year. After delivering 936,172 cars in 2021, Tesla would have technically needed 1,404,258 deliveries last year to reach its production goal. The 1,313,851 vehicles delivered in 2022 put Tesla just under 100,000 units short of its goal. The automaker is pulling out all the stops to keep pace with its production goals, including driving demand upward with price reductions. Its 1.8 million vehicle target for 2023 will require 4,932 cars to be built every day, which in reality is feasible. 
With Shanghai and Fremont running at full capacity and rumors of the California plant expanding, Tesla is already well on its way. Additionally, Berlin and Texas are both ramping up production, and the Cybertruck will contribute some volume in Austin. However, CEO Elon Musk confirmed the pickup's volume production phases will not begin until next year. In reality, Musk may be wanting more. On the earnings call, he said, Tesla might be capable of more than 1.8 million units. The commitment to increasing demand and sacrificing margins through price reductions is a key indicator that Tesla is willing to get 2023 off to a hot start instead of waiting until the tail end of quarters. While demand already seemed relatively healthy, the price cuts improved Tesla's addressable market, especially with its Model 3 and Model Y mass-market vehicles. Moving to the next update, Tesla continues Project Highland manufacturing line installation at Fremont. Tesla is continuing to progress on the installation of new Model 3 production lines at the Fremont factory, which is being revamped for Project Highland. Project Highland is a codename for Tesla's planned revamp of the Model 3, the mass-market sedan, which is reportedly receiving new infotainment upgrades, interior simplifications, and a reduction of components. Tesla has been working on the project since mid-2021, according to filings. Now we can confirm, the project is continuing to move forward. We reported in mid-December that Tesla had demolished previous Model 3 production hang-on lines, a type of assembly line the company partially utilizes for manufacturing. Tesla has completed the demolition and is moving forward with installing manufacturing equipment, we have learned through public filings. Tesla filed for revisions to portions of the line as recently as Friday. While it is a minor development, it indicates that the automaker is progressing on the Model 3 revamp. Several Model 3 Highland production candidates have been spotted in California recently, and earlier in January, the vehicles were spotted performing on-road testing for the first time since Tesla started the Highland project. Tesla admitted during the company's recent earnings call that there are new products in the pipeline, but CEO Elon Musk and other executives did not go into any detail regarding what is potentially on the way. We speculated that Tesla could manufacture a van and potentially enter other sectors. However, with the electric vehicle movement on the upswing and becoming more popular, companies are looking to offer vehicles at an affordable price point. Tesla has plans to discuss its next-gen platform at the March 1 Investor Day. While the next-gen platform could be different from what Tesla will do with the Model 3, it is no secret that the automaker has been attempting to develop a more affordable vehicle design. Tesla has softly hinted at the possibility of a $25,000 mass-market vehicle over the past few years. The Model 3 design will likely stay the same, but the improvements on vehicle complexity are likely an attempt to improve affordability. Moving to the last update, Tesla aims to deliver a cost-effective ramp of 4680 batteries in 2023, reach high volume in 2024. Tesla aims to deliver a cost-effective ramp of 4680 battery cells at its facilities in 2023 to reach a high volume in 2024. The new low-cost and high-energy density cells will power not only already announced products but also those that are in development. Tesla continues to be successful in scaling up the production of its new 4680 battery cells. The company has designed the new cell and manufacturing equipment for its production from scratch, so scaling production is the biggest challenge right now, and the company is actively pursuing that. The 4680 cell production line in Fremont will soon be expanded with the addition of a new building that will greatly expand current capabilities. In other places, the increase in production is also moving forward. According to information from Tesla SVP, Powertrain and Energy Engineering, Andrew Buglino, during the Q4 2022 earnings call, the battery ramp-up progress at Giga Texas is gaining momentum. He said that the company has four lines there, one of which is already producing cells, and the other three are at the stage of installation and commissioning. Buglino said, the company's goal is to deliver a cost-effective ramp of 4680 battery cells at its facilities in 2023. 
Priorities include dialing in and improving the quality of the high volume supply mechanical parts and driving factory process yields up as much as possible. Once success is achieved in these two key areas, we'll be well set up for a major 4680 year in 2024, he said. Tesla CFO Zachary Kirkhorn acknowledged that the 4680 battery cell production ramp at Giga Texas and Giga Berlin is currently inefficient, however noted that it is within the company's control. Among other things, Tesla is focused on reducing the cost of cell production, which includes the cost of the supply chain, expediting, logistics, etc. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.